PLC Network here at CES 2023. I'm standing in front of an interesting people moving autonomous vehicle by the company Holon. And they are a subsidiary from Bentelar, a vehicle company in, uh, coming at you from Germany. And we're about to have a very interesting discussion here inside of this neat new vehicle. Uh, Marco, who's on his way over here, and we're about to chat with him right now. But this is something exciting that you might see in your cities coming soon. So we're inside the vehicle right now, that amazing autonomous vehicle that was just a moment ago sitting behind me, and I'm sitting next to Marco here, who works for the company. Marco, how are you? Uh, my pleasure, thank you, very well. We are uh, overwhelmed of the success of, of our mover launch. And this is a very, I mean, it's a fascinating vehicle. This is, we're going to be seeing these on the streets real shortly in 2025. That's exactly the plan. We want to start production in 2025 in the US market. And we have already, I would say, pre-orders to be delivered in that period. So your your actual customer is uh, the actual uh, is um, the transportation authorities and and whatnot for each and every city. Like we have here, we have the RTA here, uh, and uh, you w this will pretty much replace the buses that we typically see in the streets, but not just in the street uh, in the cities, but actually between rural and city areas as well. Could be both. So first. Uh, we, we have two markets here, which is the public sector and, of course, the private sector, too. Um, yes, we are in talk with a lot of transportation authorities, and maybe it's less a kind of substitution. It could also be a, an upside, which means to have more service density, because you see this, I would say, very compact vehicles can drive into, I would, more tight traffic situations, giving more service density, so potentially Maybe the big bus will not be substituted, but it will be added by this nice kind of transportation to go into areas maybe underserved. Very cool. And it's, it's definitely flexible, and, and it's fully autonomous, obviously. Uh, you have, it's actually reporting home with everything it's doing and everything, everywhere it's going. So that way there's actually humans on the other end that can actually interact with the vehicle in terms of when it needs to make choices that might be beyond what it's capable of doing, or, or at least authority-wise, regulation-wise. Yeah, exactly. This is a so-called autonomous driving level four. That means there's still a kind of backup. Uh, for example, I would say the easiest way is that there's a safety assistant who can interact. But it could also be a guy or a lady in, uh, in a command center. And in case of what we so-called edge cases, where the autonomous system is uh, not acting anymore, he can interact by the so-called tailor operation, which means he takes over remote control and drives the vehicle out of this kind of dangerous or undefined situation, and then the autonomous system takes over again. Very nice. Now, is it communicating home with cellular, like three or, or uh, 5G or um, 4G LTE? Uh, it's a, you need a 5G, it's a cloud-based uh, solution, of course, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's 5G, and then what's the dis? I mean, what's well, 5G? I mean, so as long as you have connectivity, you, uh, uh, what I guess the, the question would really be is, in terms of mileage, how far can one of these go before yeah. it needs to be charged? Yeah, this, this is an aspect we have taken a lot of care of because we know these, these vehicles are in a shift operation 24-7. So we put in uh, a battery capacity of more than 100 kilowatt hours, which leads to uh, close to 200 miles. Uh, with one with one uh, charge, and uh, this is enough for a full shift, of course. And we also take care because it's not only the range itself; it's also the consumption of the air condition, the st the stack system. So, um, I would say we have this range under full comfort functions. And this is under a full load. So, if you had a full load exactly. of people inside of here, exactly. So, like, what's the weight capacity? Like, like, what's the the how many people can this fit generally? We have a capacity of 15 passengers, 10 seated, uh, 5 standing. Okay, so that's pretty packed. That's good. You're making yeah. use of the full space. Yeah, yesterday or in this morning we were here with 17, so 15 is quite easy to sit in. Nice, 17 people. Wow. <laughs> and it's comfortable. I like the, the feel, the atmosphere of this. It actually does have that futuristic appeal to it, something you'd see in the movies just a yeah. year ago. I mean, this was a clear target. We want to make uh, public or private transportation attractive. Yeah, And maybe there's a lot of room for improvement on the actual transportation systems we have. 
uh, we want to we want to win people to take this car. So we took care together with our partner Pininfarina to make a very attractive interior, well feeling area. You see here the UI UX interface, which in gives you information, entertains you, gives you safety while you're running without a driver, which is maybe somehow curious for yeah. for you at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. And and this is where we took really care of because we want to make an, a, a real attractive offer to gain traction on the new way of new mobility. Now in terms of interaction, is it like kind of preloaded media that's playing and whatnot, like programs, or can it be interactive in terms of if somebody has a question or something about the yeah. technology or where they're going, can they talk to the vehicle, or maybe that's something to come in the future? Yeah, this, this of course, there's so much options which you can implement here with the connectivity stuff. Uh, you have interactive screens potentially for the outside, put advertisement on, so creativity and fantasy unlimited for the time being we start here with the vehicle because this is the pain point in the market there is n i would say nothing really i would say reliable to buy so this is the first step but as you're right it shows the potential for even more awesome so what's really neat though is that we're going to see it you know so it's it's coming soon it's not something that maybe 2030 maybe 2040 2025 is not that far away so if you're if you're beginning production that soon that's exciting exactly i mean we that's where we come from we are an automotive company we know how to manufacture uh, and we know how to manufacture an automotive grade and this is the part or the style you see here you want to have robustness performance comfort like in your personal vehicle absolutely and that's why we have taken the job because we can uh, that's where we come from and building a vehicle a manufacturing vehicle takes two and a two and a half years from the manufacturing side and that's where we now end then in 2025 which means after the ces we immediately i would say um, go full-fledged into the next part of this vehicle and make it happen and germany is really known for making a good car too thank you need, yeah so <laughs> this is exciting uh so i can't wait to see something like this pop up in las vegas hopefully we'll see that soon Hope to hope to see it too. So we are open to that. Uh, we have a full global rollout, and we see the potential of uh, five-digit number volumes in the market. It's not about having two or three vehicles and and uh, made it by hand. So it's really going into uh, a scale production, high volume, like we know it from our cars. And the market is definitely there. And th the CES confirmed that. I would say strongly. And you're actually going to have plans on mar uh, actually building these here in the United States as well. Exactly. We want to start in the U.S., of course, to fulfill the Buy America Act, to have the local content, to be part of the, uh, of the uh, subscriptions from the transportation authorities. And, uh, of course, the global rollout, we will then have also a production site in Europe, potentially in Germany. Uh, and we are also um, heading for Middle East Asia because we don't want to ship these movers from one place. So we go localize, uh, I would say, Usual, usual procedure in automotive. Yeah. Maybe the cities will qualify for federal rebates too, since mm. it's being made in the U.S. Yes. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Whatever incentives that are required to get this on the road. <laughs> so, where if our viewers want to find out more about this and actually follow the the just the the route of where the company is heading, how close it is to actually yeah. seeing the realization of this being on the streets, where would they go to find out more information? Uh, you can go to our internet site, uh, driveholon.com. So with the day yesterday, we open up. So this, I mean, you see the design and all the information was, was a hidden secret. So now it's, we are public, we are live on that. There are a lot of information uh, about the vehicle, about the company, and we will uh, actively feed this kind of channel more to come. Uh, Good. So that's driveholon.com. That's H-O-L-O-N.com. <laughs> and uh, well, we look forward to seeing this in the f near future. It's uh, just a few years away before you start production, so this is exciting. Yeah, it is. So if uh, next time I see, if I, next time, but if the one time happens, I see one of these drive by and go, there it is. So I hope next year CES we are on the outer, on the outer uh, yeah. range and and have a drive event potentially. Let's see. Yeah, maybe we'll take one of these in instead of taking uh, one of the sprinter exactly. vehicles. Exactly, while That'd driving. While yeah. driving. Yeah, that'll be fantastic. Well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure, Marco, and we can't wait to hear more once it gets closer to release. Thank you. Pleasure. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.